Hello and welcome to the Coin Jungle. Today I will be presenting a tutorial on how to buy altcoins on Poloniex. And this is a sequel to uh, the previous tutorial, which was using G uh, transferring your money from Coinbase into GDAX. So this one we will be transferring Bitcoin from GDAX into Poloniex. And um, the reason for that is that Coinbase uh, handles fiat money like US dollar and uh, and Poloniex doesn't. It, it, it uses um, Bitcoin, Ether, Monero, or Tether, or really you could transfer any of these altcoins, but uh, Bitcoin and Ether are the two that um, you could transfer from uh, Coinbase or GDAX. So what you're going to do is, uh, I don't have any Bitcoin in here right now, but uh, just pretend that I did. Uh, you're going to go to Withdraw, and then we're going to go to Bitcoin Address, and then we're going to go over to Poloniex and go, uh, you're going to sign up on here, um, sign in, and then go to uh, Balances, Deposits, and Withdrawals. and then type in Bitcoin, make sure it's Bitcoin and not these other ones, and then we want to deposit. So we're going to go deposit, and uh, uh, it might ask you to confirm whether to show this or not, uh, and then you're going to select this, copy it, and I always like to look at the first three and the last three letters and make sure that we have the same one. And then I paste it in here. Check to make sure that you have the same first three, last three. And then whatever amount of Bitcoin you want to move over, let's say one Bitcoin. And then I have two-factor authentication turned on, uh, which means that uh, you need your phone not only to log in um, uh, with your username and password, but you need your phone. With, I use Google Authenticator, um, and then you type in. Um, it changes the numbers every 30 seconds. And so um, I'm going to type it in here, and then click Withdraw. That will send the transaction out to the Bitcoin mining nodes. And then uh, it depends on how fast uh, the Bitcoin network um, the blockchain is processing transactions. Uh, it could be uh, it could be as fast as a few seconds, and it could be as slow as an hour right now. And who knows what could happen in the future? Um, so don't panic if uh, it's been 45 minutes and your uh, Bitcoin hasn't showed up in Poloniex yet. Um, if it's been over uh, a couple hours, then I would contact uh, GDAX and uh, Poloniex's support. Um, so then we're going to go over here to the deposit and withdrawal history page. There's a link down here. Just refresh this page. Every so often, um, I wouldn't just sit here, you know, maybe go do something else and then come back every once in a while and refresh. And then once you've seen uh, that you have a new transaction, check the date over here, make sure it's the Bitcoin you sent over um, and the amount. And then uh, once you have some Bitcoin in here, you're going to head over to the exchange. And then make sure that you're on the Bitcoin tab, because that is going to be our base currency instead of, like, say, here on on GDAX, we had it in US dollar, or it could have been in the euro or the pound. So here, Bitcoin is our is our base currency. And then um, I have it ordered by volume here, so you can see what the biggest coins are. Uh, you could also check, since we're buying, we want to see what uh, what is low right now. So BitShares has the most recent um, big drop. No, that's not working. Let's try storage. So yeah, if for example you wanted to buy storage, it's relatively low right now. Um, you can also change 
change the uh, time window by moving this uh, and then you could also look at the past month so you can see there's a general trend going up um, and then within recent history it's lower than than the peak um, and then but let's say you wanted to get something maybe a little more reliable so what I recommend uh, for buying altcoins is uh, head over to coinmarketcap.com and then take a look in order of uh, the top market cap here. Bitcoin and Ethereum you could already buy on GDAX and since they don't have uh, uh, fees for doing limit trades I would recommend buying Bitcoin, Ether, and Litecoin over at GDAX. But Ripple is the first one that you can't get on, uh, on GDAX or Coinbase. But you can on Poloniex. You could actually buy Ripple with fiat on some other exchanges, I think Kraken and maybe Bitfinex. And so these have the largest market cap saying that this is what the community is most interested in. Um, so I would research them in order of market cap. So, uh, so you know, let's say you don't know anything about Ripple uh, and you already have Bitcoin and Ethereum. so you're curious about getting Ripple um, and so just Google Ripple and token or coin and then take a look at their website uh, you could also put in the exchange um, moniker it's XRP for Ripple and and just read about it um, Ripple is is used by big banks um, to transfer money from one fiat to another and Ripple is the unit of exchange and um, the big benefit is that it's it's actually not really decentralized, and so it can move money around very quickly. Uh, where Bitcoin takes an hour, Ether takes two minutes, Ripple takes four seconds. Um, and you can also, if you did a little more research, you could see that um, Ripple has been adopted by uh, 75 or so um, major banks, um, and that is probably the reason why uh, it's the number three market cap on here. So let's say you're interested in buying Ripple. You could order them by the moniker or uh, just order it by name and look for a Ripple, click on it. So if you want to buy Ripple, you're going to come over here. Uh, you can click on however much Bitcoin you have and it'll auto populate it. Um, and you can also change the price here. Uh, if you if you did it lower, then it would probably register it as a limit buy. On Poloniex, it wouldn't call it a limit buy. Uh, it's maker and taker. So you're going to look up Poloniex fees. And uh, it's. It's not like GDAX where the limit trades are free. Um, you still are paying 0.15%. Um, this a maker is basically a limit uh, where you're buying below or selling high, and a taker is um, you're just taking the price as it is. Yeah, and so once you've once you've purchased it, oh here's the fee right here. Uh, once you've purchased it, then um, you can come over to balances, deposits, and withdrawals, and hit hide zero balances, and this is your portfolio, your total amount in US dollars and Bitcoin, what they are by Bitcoin value, I like to put them in order of Bitcoin value, and so here you see I have the most Ripple, and, um, and then you can see your total balance right here. And then if you wanted to uh, move it over into uh, a custom wallet like uh, RipX for R Ripple, then you would withdraw it and put in your address here. But I'll, I'll save that for, uh, save the wallet tutorial for another video. Yeah, and I think that about sums it up. Uh, Poloniex, you can also do margin trading, uh, and then you can also earn... Um, um, you can earn interest on by loaning out your Bitcoin 
to other people, but I will save that potentially for another tutorial too. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is, um, you can just look up YouTube, The Coin Jungle. Um, and then here's my previous video. And, uh, and then you can click subscribe to uh, stay updated. And you can see my other videos by clicking on here. And then if there's any specific tutorials or videos you'd like to see, uh, just send me, a, send me a message. You can go on thecoinjungle.com. Usually I have a contact thing up here, uh, otherwise under services you can go services and then click con contact us. So it's thecoinjungle.com slash contact and then this will send me an email. Um, and then also if you want to look at other video tutorials that I've done, I have them also listed here under coinjungle.com slash tutorials. Um, so you'll be seeing this video up here once I've published it. Thank you.